Hey everybody, um, Michael P. Spradlin. I'm back today with the epilogue, the final chapter of Enemy Above. And um, I wanted to tell you all that the next book that I'm going to start reading from, some of you may not even be familiar with it, uh, it is The Youngest Templar, Keeper of the Grail. This is a book I wrote about 10 years ago. Um, those of you that found my books that I wrote for Scholastic, like Killer Species and Into the Killing Seas and The Enemy Above, um, this was before that, um, been, uh, been in print for 10 years now, and it takes place uh, during the Crusades. It's another historical fiction novel, so I'll be starting that one soon, and uh, it should be, should be fun. So, but in the meantime, um, let's finish up The Enemy Above, and this is the epilogue. Daniel came to live on the family farm with Antron and Dimitri. He had nowhere and no one to return to, and Anton was happy to have the company. Uncle Pavel had chosen to rejoin the militia and chase the Nazis out of Ukraine. The Germans were sure to lose. Men and women of good conscience would defeat evil. Every day, Anton thought about what the war had stolen from him. His childhood, his boob, his father. Uncle Dimitri did his best to keep his nephew's spirits up. Anton and Daniel helped him work the farm and even found occasional time to read and explore, but nothing felt the same anymore. One morning, Anton woke up with a decision made. He packed his blanket with a map, a canteen, some matches, and some bread and potatoes he'd nabbed from the kitchen the night before. He tried to be careful, but failed. He and Daniel shared the room, and his friend was a light sleeper. Are you going somewhere? Daniel asked with a yawn. Yes, Anton answered. West, to Poland. I'm going to find my father. Anton, what if your father is, then at least I will know. Have you told Dimitri? No, he will forbid me to go. What should I tell him? You won't have to. He will know why I must go. Are you sure this is the right thing to do? There is still a war out there. There's always war. Daniel had nothing to say to that. Thank you for letting me stay here, Anton, Daniel said. I hope you and your father will come home one day soon. I would like to meet him. Anton shook Daniel's hand and quietly crept through the house. He left the kitchen door, and as he stepped outside, he took one last look around the farm in the gathering light. Then he pulled up his, his collar around his neck and headed west into the cool, fine morning. And that is the end of The Enemy Above. Thank you um, for coming along uh, while we read along. Um, and again, I'm going to be starting uh, the very next day, uh, tomorrow, with The Youngest Templar, Keeper of the Grail, book one of The Youngest Templar trilogy. Um, so uh, that is also available as an audio book, The Youngest Templar. I'm not sure I can do uh, quite as good a job as the, as the actor that read uh, for the audio, but uh, I'm going to give it a try. So uh, everyone be safe, be healthy, be happy, and be kind. We'll talk to you later.